I'm John Danker. I love Arena uh, Polo. I love the intensity here at of it. Of Texas. There's just honestly nothing like it. Hi, I'm Dan Miller III. I'm also a senior at the University of North it's Texas. It's up close and personal, very fast. I plan on continuing to play It's a pretty amazing feeling. I can't explain it in any other way than intense. Um, I'm going back to New York to help my brother with our farm. And... All right. Welcome to the 2024 Division I Men's National Intercollegiate Championship Final. University of North Texas will be taking on Southern Methodist University here at Virginia Polo Center in Charlottesville, Virginia. We've got an all Northern Texas final today. These schools are less than an hour's drive apart. I'm Liam Locke here with Cindy Halley. Thanks, Liam. This should be a good matchup. We've got the defending champions, UNT, facing up against their neighbors, SMU. UNT had a very close game over a determined Texas A&M squad a couple days ago, uh, UNT was up nine to six at the half and Texas A&M had two two pointers back to back in the fifth. It put them up at the beginning of the sixth, but UNT fought back led by Niklas Feldhaber with eight goals, including uh, five for six on open goal penalty shots. Vance with five goals and John Denker with four goals. Vance did have 10 fouls, so he's going to have to make sure he doesn't um, do too much of that today. Against SMU, you can see the lineup there on your screen. Against SMU, who had a very hard fought, they're sort of the Cinderella team. They uh, bested the number two seed, University of Kentucky, 14 to 12 in a really hard fought game. Um, Landon uh, 
led the scoring. He's been graded as open goal penalty shots. He's been seven for eight on open goal penalties over two games. And against University of Kentucky, Landon had six goals. Shane Metternich had four and Clark Meyer had three. I think the question is going to be, they've had two games to play. Uh, UNT has only one game. So did the, did that take a lot out of the SMU squad or are they still fresh enough to take on this very tough UNT team? All right. And umpires in the saddle, we're going to have Robert Linke Chow and Mike Vanderwerken. Third man today will be Ryan Saul. And we've got chief arena umpire Bradley Biddle also in the stands. UNT is coached by Vance's dad, Vaughn Miller Sr., who's been running this program for quite some time now. And Russell Stimmel has taken the reins over from Brendan Stencil, who who was coaching SMU. And um, Russell Stimmel, of course, is the Stimmel name, very synonymous with lots of polo in the country. And Russell's done a great job with these guys as uh, Brendan is down running the Meyer Ranch um, organization in Florida right now. So a very good matchup, very evenly matched teams. And they are coming out on Preston Wood horses. <clears throat> you see that gray there. That's Pineapple Express. That's won several Best Playing Pony Awards. And Vance will start off on his favorite horse, Piazza. Big bay mare with sort of lop ears. So good good horses for both teams. A nice matched set of umpire ponies from Ola Polo. All right. So UNT coming out with a little bit of an advantage in the first chucker on familiar horses. We'll see how that plays out for them. So they're getting introduced there. We also have a string from Sergio Coro that'll be playing second and fifth. Um, and a string from Liberty Hall from the Coleman family that will be playing third and sixth. That is the neutral string. The Coro string, SMU, has now played in two games. The Liberty Hall string, I don't believe, I'm not sure if anyone else has played those horses. Um, they may have been in the Texas A&M UNT game, but they were drawn out of a hat for the third string to go in this uh, in this men's final. So big crowd there. You see a lot of green on one side of the arena for the mean green. Some last minute instructions. <clears throat> I know SMU are, I believe they're the Mustangs. And Mean Green is for UNT, and I believe it's because Mean Joe Green played football there. But I could be mistaken. So that's their mascot? They don't have a... Just their the mascot mean, is just Mean Green? I think it's just Mean Green. Right. <clears throat> it does look like an eagle. So I may be making that up. <laughs> but it's a good cool. story. It's a good story, anyhow. Yeah, it sounds good. We'll go with it. <laughs> okay. All right. Both teams lined up. Balls in play. There goes John Denker for UNT to take it out. Pound it right at the goal. It's going to be off to the right side. Denker following up his own shot, trying to get that rebound and take it on in here. John gets there. Tapping the goal. Hooked on the play. Ball's left behind. Here comes Landon Daniels to bring it across the goal. I'm going to have to take it out of danger now for SMU. Landon. Ball gets under his horse. He's going to pull it out there. Keep it alive. Vance Miller drops in to put some pressure on him. Landon surveys the arena, winds up, fires a pass forward. He's looking for Metternich there. Shane overrides. Here comes Vance to pick it back up for UNT. Vance Miller getting this ball turned back around. He's got Daniels coming in here. Landon comes across in front there. That's a pretty easy call. Yeah, Vaughn did a good job of checking out as Landon came in and make it easy to for Landon just to slip in front there. He's just got to be patient. Takes the man all the way, push him over. All right, here we have our replay. Vance Miller taking the ball down to the boards. Checks up. Let's land and come across in front of that right of way. And, oh, we're back in play. Landon Daniels gets that ball turned back around for SMU. John Denker gets the near side back shot, and we have a whistle stop. Go ahead. Let's see what we have here. Nice back shot by John. That almost went all the way into goal. We'll look at the replay here. 
you go. Landon gets that ball turned back around. John lights him up here, circles back around. Crossing after the shot. Yeah, it must have been. It's a good back shot. He just needed to flatten out on that line just a little bit more. All right. Ball's back in play. Here comes Clark Mayer for SMU. Clark Mayer in front of goal. Ball's left behind. Here comes Shane Metternich to follow it up. Shane looking to line up a shot here. Winds up, shoots, and we got a whistle there. At first glance, it looked like a reach by Niklas. I saw two fouls, though. I saw a reach, and then I saw possibly improper use of the mallet. So we'll see what we got there. I think they're going to throw it in as offsetting. Okay. There you go. Ball's back in play. Landon Daniels for SMU. Left behind now, picked up by Vance Miller. Miller gets the back shot, clears it out of danger there for UNT, puts it over the wall out of the arena. Yeah, these guys are going to have to be careful of, of uh, putting too many balls out of play and turning over possession. We saw that be a little bit of a problem in the last part of the game. So that was a penalty one called because uh, SMU's got one on the board. So that was a penalty one. Ah, not a throw. Not off that's, okay. and that's why. Yep, and that's why that throw-in was there. So SMU up by one now. All right. Look at that. Fans Miller. Meets on the play, steals that ball back for SMU, and now he's on the run off to goal. Miller controlling that ball. Shane Metternick coming in. Metternick gets there, gets the back shot. It's knocked down by Landon. He's going to turn it back around now from team in red. Landon gets a turn back around, winds up, fires the pass forward for Clark Mayer. Meyer out in front on the near side, bouncing ball. Can't get a hold of it. Backed away now by Miller once again. Knocked down by John Danker. And stolen back by Landon Daniels. Daniels met on the play. And it's going to be Vance Miller to go to goal now for the team in green. Miller. Shoots to goal and ties the score back up. One goal. Vance, obviously a very experienced arena player, won the arena handicap last year out in California and also an interscholastic championship in 2019 with Niklas. All right. There you go. Got a whistle coming right out of the throw. And Vance Miller coming down that right of way, pushing the line. And... Hit a little unevenly by Clark Meyer. Meyer turned in front of him as well. We'll see what the call is here in just a moment. Yeah, that's what it looked at first glance to me. Clark just there got you go. Him. Uneven ride off. And he turns it around as well. Yes, this might be a three since there was nobody back. Looks like Vance is going to take this. Niklas was taking a lot of them the last game, so this is an interesting start. Vance, high to the left, and going to rebound back, be picked up here by Clark. Clark Meyer for the team in red. Controlling that ball, tapping, tapping. He's got Vance in front, waiting to pounce. He's got Shane Metternick following him from behind. Here comes Nicholas to get there on the wall, gets the hook, balls pop back, and Vance is the first one to turn it back around, take it away for UNT. Vance Miller. Here comes Clark Meyer to get the little back shot, and we got another whistle stopping. Oh. I think that's crossing after that near side back shot. SMU is lined up so nicely along the boards there, and they just the the second and third players just overrode that ball along the wall. They've got to keep an eye on that. It's the right play. They just didn't get it done. So See what umpire's calling for a throw in. All right. Neutral call. Ball's in play. Here comes Phil Hobber to pull it out. Phil Hobber gets his pocket picked there by Landon Daniels. Ball's kicked forward by Phil Hobber's horse. He's going to get back to it, try to turn it back around. Can't do it. Landon follows him up, steals that ball back for SMU. Daniels now working his way from right to left, back towards goal. Landon out in front. Ball's kicked forward, left behind. There goes Shane Metternick to flip it, I believe, into the goal there. Yep. Yes, he did. There you go. Nicely done there. Metternick following Daniels to the goal, putting up number two for SMU. Great play by Landon. I mean, he had he had uh, UNT players all over him, and he still came up with the ball and got it down, set it up for that play. So let's see what's going on here. Here's a replay. We'll see somebody caught Vance in the face somehow there. Not sure what exactly did it. 
Yeah, so he'll take a minute. So we had a great game just a little while ago, just finished a little while ago, just a nail biter between Texas A&M women and U University of Virginia women. University of Virginia coming out on top just by one. It was just a back and forth game. Both teams playing absolutely this really clean, open polo. It was great to see. So congratulations to University of Virginia and Texas A&M should hold their heads up high. They did a great job and that game could have gone either way. Just some bounce of the ball here and there. Always ends up being the case. All right. The ball's bowled back in here. Looks like it's going to be Vance Miller to pull it out on the near side. Now flips it back. Trying to get it through the crowd. Here comes John Denker to pick it up. Denker doesn't get the bounce he needed. He's backed up by Miller. Vance Miller centers that ball off, and we have a whistle. Everyone getting a little... Things getting a little choppy. Everyone sort of taking the man almost too much here. Let's see what we see on the replay. Looks like it's going in favor of UNT. First bump looks good. And I think we've got Shane pushing the man into the right away. There was a pushed into that pair. All right, so penalty four to go in favor of UNT. Vance Miller teeing it up. And it's a four. Always nice to start out on a horse you know. Just sort of settle your nerves. Get your mojo going. Miller. Was that knocked down? It was. Clark Meyer, I believe, stabbed that ball out of the air and prevented it from going in there. Meyer now takes it off towards the boards. Clark on the run, hooked in the play, leaves it behind. Here comes John Denker. Denker with a back shot down the boards. First one to turn to it will beat Daniels. Landon Daniels. Tail shot back to the boards. He's looking for Shane Metternick there. Metternick not able to turn back around. Look at that. Denker coming in from behind, pushing the right away, picking the ball back up for UNT. Denker now on the run towards the boards. On the near side, he's got... Clear shot to go there on the outside. Gets it done. John Denker ties the score back up. I love how he pets the horse every time he scores. <laughs> of course, he comes from Gardner Town Farm, the Denker family running that great arena program up there. But John's just such a steady Eddie. Great player. Balls back on the field. Clark Meyer for SMU pulls it out. He's going to goal here. Hooked on the play by Fellhaber. He's followed up by Shane Metternick now. Metternick. Gets it down to the corner, leaves it behind. He's got Landon Daniels following him up. Nice teamwork here from SMU. Daniels hooked on the play. Here goes Denker to clear that ball out, save the day for the team in green. He's got Fellhaber going for the pass. Fellhaber picks up that back shot, takes off down the boards. Nicholas Fellhaber hooked on the play there. Landon leaves it behind. Clark's there. Clark leaves it behind as well. Oh, no. It's going to be John Denker to try to take it to goal, but Shane Metternick's all over him. Denker gets the back shot. It's going to be Landon Daniels to pick it up. Landon out of the air, flips it forward. Cleared out there by Nicholas Fellhaber. Fellhaber with a deep angled tail shot pass. That looks like Clark Meyer will be there to pick up. Meyer gets a turn back around, leaves it behind. Here comes Vance to pull it away from Landon. And we have Let's see which way they call this. <clears throat> Clark did a great job to get that penalty four because that, th that thing was going in. That was an awesome penalty four shot by yeah, Vance. Absolutely. And an even, even better stop in the goal mouth so they're going to discuss this yeah vance couldn't have hit that any better right up in the air over his head down the center so whether it's a one meeting two against the green or if it's that's what it looks like it's going to be yep i believe it's a penalty five from the center in favor of smu yeah, they're calling the. It got a little messy after that, but I think Vance made the first play on it when that pair was still in possession of it. Shane Mitternick coming up with some really crucial plays. He's just, you know, kind of being at the right time, the right place, and picking up some loose balls, making a difference. See how their set plays go. Here comes Clark Meyer. 
Meyer takes off. She's to go. It's going to go off of Nicholas Fellhaber. He got it on the near side there, and he got it in. Clark Meyer. Did it go in before the chucker ended? I'm not quite sure what is happening here. I'm not sure if chucker ended before it went in. Nope. It's a goal. Look at that. Clark Meyer puts SMU on top as we finish off our first chucker of the game. we got a quick break. We'll be right back for the second. You're watching the USPA Below Network. Welcome back to the Division One Men's National Intercollegiate Championship Final here on the USPA Polo Network. We have SMU taking on Texas A&M. We ended chucker number one with a goal for SMU. So they are on top by one headed into chucker number two. Just a back and forth game. Everyone fighting for possession, trying to find the open space in the arena um, and trying to use those boards to their advantage. So good team plays from all six players. It's just going to go down to who, I think, who makes the fewest mistakes and who can capitalize on their opportunities. They're on a string from Sergio Coro, this string. So SMU knows these horses a little bit better. Balls in play. There goes Vance. Not get a hold of the next shot down the boards, and Clark Meyer will steal it back for SMU. Meyer overrides. He's backed up by Landon Daniels. Daniels. Bring it through the corner now for the team in red. He's looking good. He's in front of goal. He's going to get it done. Daniels puts his team up by two. Great job by Landon to back up. Clark got, Clark got it going their direction and just couldn't keep a hold of it. Landon right there on the boards to back him up. 
We're back. Here comes Clark with a tail shot, looking to get it all the way off in front of the goal for Daniels. Daniels there to pick it up, shoots it just wide to the left side. Here comes Denker to turn it back around now for the team in green. John gets it turned back around, drops the hammer here, and takes off for UNT. Denker on the run now up that left wall. John hooked on the play there. Ball's left behind. Clark Meyer gets the hook. Here comes Nicholas Fellhaber to follow up. Denker, Fellhaber, makes his way past Meyer, shoots to goal, and scores. So you three on the board for UNT. That was a good idea just to follow up that play when there's a lot of hustling in front of you, and if you're by yourself and just wait to pick up the garbage, that's exactly what Nicholas did. Here comes John Denker to pull out of the throw and shoot one time at the goal ball. It goes off the wall. Big rebound. It's going to be Vance Miller to get back to it. Miller. Pounds the back shot back towards goal. Knocked down by Shane Metternick. Goes into Nicholas Fellhopper. He's going to get a turn back around now for the team in green. Fellhopper working his way from left to right back towards goal. Shoots and puts it through. Look at that back-to-back -back goals from Fellhopper for UNT. High ball game. Good clean playing by both teams. I like it. Let's keep the fouls down to a minimum and let's just play. There we go. Ball's back in play. Kicks out towards the UNT side. Very far here. It's going to be flipped back there by Fellhaber and again by John Denker, who will turn to it first. Looks like we got Nicholas Fellhaber to get there, pick up his own shot, and take off to goal here. Fellhaber working his way through the left corner. Checks down. He's got Vance Miller backing him up here. Clark Meyer trying to get in there. Looks like Meyer might have gotten in there, got the hook. Now Clark trying to pull it forward. Can't do it. It's going to be, looks like Vance Miller to flip it. And it's going to UNT back on top. Shane's shot is a good good idea to send that ball up up uh, the arena, but it just came off a horse and UNT capitalizing on that, taking advantage, going to that corner. They're dominating these throw ins too. There we go. Vance Miller leaves it behind for John Denker. Denker can't get a hold of it. It's backed away now by Shane Metternick for SMU. First one to turn to it will be Nicholas Fellhopper for UNT. Look at Vance blocking for him, keeping Clark away from him so we can get this ball turned back around and take his time here. Now, Fellhopper. Making his way up the center of the arena, looking to line up a clean shot. There goes Clark Meyer to come in, get the back shot, and we have a whistle. Looks like Clark had a almost got unseated behind the play. And we'll just see as he comes forward. Landon may have been impeding. I, yeah, I think he just needed to give him a play. Yeah. Landon was impeding. He was waiting for Landon to clear, and then Clark came up there to make the hook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. SMU's got to be a little quicker at turning on um, their, you know, anticipating their own back shots from their teammates and not, you know, turning on the um, UNT back shots because they're sort of waiting to to make, you know, UNT's making their back shots and then they're turning. They got to anticipate. These guys aren't going to miss back shots. They're all capable of of placing balls, getting the angle, all of that. A little more anticipation. There's a throw right. in. Huh. Not quite sure I follow that. All right. Oh, penalty one. That's why. That puts UNT so, up by two. Yep. Goal for UNT. Ball's bowled back in. Here comes Shane Metternick to clear it away. Nice pass there from Metternick, but the first one to get there will be Miller. Vance clears out Clark Meyer, gets there. Pounds a back shot that goes off the boards back towards center field. Perfectly placed for John Decker to turn it back around. Decker hooked on the play by Daniels. Daniels will turn it back around. Here comes Bellhaber to steal it back. We got a whistle there. Yeah, I think uh, Landon changed that line across the arena and Niklas just came in front of him. I thought the same, but then Bellhaber kind of celebrated when the whistle sounded, which I was confused <laughs> about. I don't know. Maybe he's more confused than me. <laughs> Here we go. We're watching the replay here. Uh, maybe he didn't move it enough. Uh, he might not have. Yeah, I don't even know if he flipped it there. It looked like he did yeah. at first, but. Yeah, now it doesn't look so much like it. Yep, there yeah. you go. Trust me, this fell over over me when it comes to the angles. Yeah, it did look like that um, from, from the side angle. It did look like Landon had changed the line towards the center, but he really didn't. So that line was still going up and down the arena. Good job of Niklas to Recognize that and drop on it. So UNT doing a good job on these horses they haven't played before really well. 
There we go. Penalty four. It's going to be just wide to the left side and not going to get enough rebound to pass that 25. So here comes Clark Meyer to recover it for SMU. Meyer hits it off to the boards. Back to way now by John Denker. First one to turn around to it will be Vance Miller. Look at that. Vance shoots to goal wide to the right. He's going to get back to it, pick up the rebound, try to get it through the corner here. Miller makes it around the back side of, Dan of Daniels. Nicely done, but it pops back out. Here comes Metternich to steal it back for SMU. Metternich. Look at that. Vance. Drops in, picks the right away back up on the boards, takes it back around. Now he's going to goal. Vance Miller on the boards. Back shot from Daniels. Picked up here. We've got Shane Metternick and John Decker battling it out. Looks like Metternick will come out on top. Nicely done there by Shane to get that oh. ball turned back around. Flips it back to the corner. And he's going to get it again. Shane Metternick battling hard here for SMU. John Denker comes in, swats it back through the corner again. First one to it is Landon Daniels. Daniels got a stand line for a second there, and we have a whistle. Now Shane had to had to get that ball back like three different times. He got it, hit it into his own uh, teammate's horse, and come back and you know got it back again. I think UNT being a little quicker to find these loose balls. He'll... Yep, he had to just go the other way there. Yep, I don't think Landy could turn. He needed he couldn't turn into that play. So SMU getting into a little foul trouble here. Penalty three. Nicholas was very consistent on these in the last game. Played a lot of yeah, a lot of arena polo. We should be used to him. Bellhopper puts it wide. It's rolling. It's going to cross the 25. He's going to get back to it again. Hit the near side back shot, centering it off to John Denker. Denker now right in front of goal. Denker working his way from left to right. Hooked on the play there at the last second by Meyer, but he got it done. I don't even know how he got a hold of that ball, but John Denker, what a goal for UNT. Those penalty shots that rebound past the 25, I think everyone's, you know, he kind of catches you off guard, and, and it looks like SMU just didn't quite know what to do with it. Here comes Daniels. Hooked on the play by Vance. Vance gets the back shot, hits it off to Fellhaber. Nicholas Fellhaber now takes off down the board, shoots for two there, wide to the left. He's going to get back to the rebound here and hit a back shot to goal wide to the right this time. It's going to go off into that corner. Here comes Vance to pick it back up and get it turned back around. Miller, he had a pair coming in there from behind. And a whistle. Yeah, I think this is going to go in favor of SMU. But again, at UNT being super quick. To, to react, you know, just sort of anticipating just a little bit better so far. SMU needs to sort of dial it up a little bit. Yeah, he didn't have time to do that. Yeah, shout out to Fellhopper. He was really trying to give him time, but couldn't do it quick enough. Here comes Clark Meyer for SMU. Meyer. It's it off to the left boards. He's looking for Landon Daniels. Daniels. Can't get a hold of it. It's going to be left behind, and I believe that is the final horn of chucker number two. UNT with a very strong second chucker. Seven to four on the board. UNT pulling ahead. We've got a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. You're watching the USPA Polo Network. I'm Russell Stimmel, and I'm the head coach for SMU Polo. Yeah, that was one of the toughest parts there. Um, not, not having any game film on them, not knowing what they did not knowing their strengths or weaknesses. So I just told the boys, keep playing your game, keep it simple. Uh, arena polo is pretty simple. You just take a man and take care of the ball and whoever makes the least mistakes wins. So that's what I told them. Yeah, in, in Texas when we're practicing, um, typically I have the guys either in between chuckers or before the chuckers hit, everybody hits some penalties. Um, Landon has been so solid on his penalties that we haven't really had to pass the stick yet, but I'd like everyone on the team to have the same mindset going in that if Landon is on a tricky horse, can't hit him, uh, we'll pass the stick. But Landon, um, he's been really solid there. Yeah, they're our neighbors right down the street, which is really funny. So um, we know a lot about them. They've been a powerhouse in both interscholastic and intercollegiate. So um, I think the most important thing for our guys is to keep our heads. If we get down by a couple, know that we can still get back into it and uh, take a man first. Everybody count heads with a man and uh, just try to be there for each other, try to lift each other up. Don't get 
too flustered by the moment and uh, take care of the ball. Oh, it'd mean a lot to us. Uh, I was thinking this morning when we first got together in January, when they first asked me to come on, we were on a group chat and my goal was to be playing. My goal for these boys was to be playing in the finals of a national championship. So we've met that goal and now we need to go ahead and see it through. Uh, many good players and coaches have come before me. Tom Goodspeed, Brendan Stenzel, August Shear as a player. Uh, a lot of good people involved with the organization. Kenny, Roxy. Um, it'd mean the world to everyone. So yeah. we're really excited to be here. Cool. Oh, absolutely. Uh, one thing that comes to mind is just the camaraderie of it all. My brother Jake and I, we talk about it all the time. August Shearer came out to practice the other day. We played against them in the finals of that championship and just reliving it all. And it's just a huge, huge honor. My dad was our coach. My granddad coached my dad to a championship in 1974. So it's just a really generational and special experience to be a part of II Polo. That's a good question. Um, honestly, just the experience with the boys, with the girls, the whole team, we've had so much fun. They come out six days a week. Uh, some nights have been really cold, rainy, wet, and um, everybody's always got a smile on their face and they're happy to play polo. So it's just been a really special thing. Welcome back to the USPA Polo Network. In case you're just joining us, we're at the 2024 Men's National Intercollegiate Championship Final. Southern Methodist University in the red jerseys taking on the University of North Texas in the green. We're kicking off chucker number three with a very strong second chucker for UNT. They built up a bit of a lead heading into our third chucker of the game. We haven't seen any two-pointers yet, but that may... We hopefully we'll start seeing some of those and that can make a huge difference in the score. Uh, both teams are mounted on ponies from Liberty Hall, Dan Coleman's. He's got them lined up. So we've got the grays against the non grays. Um, and I'll try and uh, figure out which gray is which, but a very solid um, bunch of ponies that have played awfully a lot of arena polo. So both teams should get a good chucker out of them. Ball's back in play. Big back shot from Fellhaber to pass it off to Vance Miller. Miller clears it to Mans, which to the near side, shoots to goal. It's going to go off to the left side. Leaves it behind. Here comes Daniels to steal it back. Landon, look at that. Keeps it alive. Gets it turned back around. Flips it off. Oh, my goodness. What a pass to Clark Meyer. Meyer now on the run of the boards. Keeps it away from Fellhaber. Switching to the near side. Keeps it to himself. Now going to goal. Nicholas gets the hook at the last second. It's going to be rolling. It's saved at the last second there by Vance Miller now for UNT. Here comes Daniels to turn it back around in the corner. He's got Miller all over him there. Vance gets the steal. He's hooked on the play. And Landon gets it back. Near side back shot to goal. Pops back out. Picked up by John Denker for UNT. Denker's going to drop the hammer takeoff running here. John Denker out in front. Hits it off into that left corner. Landon Daniels still with him all over him here. Daniels going to win the ride off. Pound that ball off down the boards. Didn't get the shot, but picked up the rebound. Got it back and took it forward this time. Daniels out. 
works his way around to the inside of Fellhaber. He's got a lot of time here. He's broken away from everybody. He's got Vance Miller chasing him down. Daniels takes it into the corner. Can't get a hold of the near side shot to goal. Clark can, but it's going to be across that goal mouth wide. Here comes Fellhaber to pick it back up now for UNT. Nicholas Fellhaber pulls it out. And now he's out in front. Ooh, hooked on the play there at the last second. Backed up by Vance Miller. Miller feeding it right back up to Fellhaber in the front, but Daniels is there. Landed. Back shot picked up by Shane Metternich. Metternich knocks it towards his own goal. Now gets the back shot back the other direction. It's going to be Miller to pick it up, work his way around Daniels, and he actually whistled there. There was, a, there was a lot of meeting going on there. I'm not sure who was right and who was wrong, but I think that Vaughn had to come across to get to the offside on first glance, but we'll see what they we'll see what they say. Yeah, here's the replay. Thank goodness for that. Let's see what happened here. Oh my goodness, that's very interesting. We had two red players turning for that back shot, coming to it from different angles. Let's see what they what they uh, end up doing. You saw on the graphics that uh, Mo Grave Sandy is the fourth member of the team on UNT from the Work to Ride program, of course, that everyone knows and loves in Philadelphia, PA, run by the irrepressible and fantastic Leslie Heiner. So Mo down there at UNT getting ready to get his chance to get into the arena, but meanwhile getting lots of experience to propel this team forward once uh, Vance graduates. So it looks like we had a little tack issue, and that gives the umpire some time to discuss this, but it is going in favor of SMU. So it must have been that Vance had to curve around to get to the offside. A good, good catch by the umpire because that was a very complicated looking play. Yeah. All right. It's going to be a penalty three in favor of SMU. We got Landon Daniels teeing it up. I think this is his first open goal penalty shot he's had today. Yeah, I think you're right. Not a lot of open goal penalties so far. No. Both teams doing a good job of trying to keep it pretty clean. Looks like he's got a nice horse to take it off of. Nice, quiet, just walking to it. Oh, is he going to use the entire arena to walk? I was going to say, that's an awful long walk. <laughs> I feel like that'd be too much time to think. I was going to say, I, I will start thinking about all sorts of other things in that long walk, yeah. but everyone's got their own way of doing it. So. Almost there. There he goes. Landon Daniels. Oh, Ugh. wide to the left. Here comes Miller to make his play. Miller is going to hit away first time. Nicely done. Looking for Nicholas Fellhaber here. Fellhaber breaks for it. Hooked on the play. Ball's left behind. Here comes John Denker to flip it forward. Try to get it turned. John Denker. Front of goal here. It's going to be Clark Meyer to save the day for SMU. Landon backs him up. Flips it forward to Clark. Clark on the near side using that wall to keep it away from Denker here. Leaves that ball behind now. And here comes Fellhaber with a back shot. He's going to pick up a whistle there. Yeah, I think Shane was with him all the way along that the boards there, at least at first glance. All the SMU players following each other up on the boards there nicely. All right, yeah, so, so it looks, looks like it's going to be center going to midfield. Yeah. SMU doing a good job being really scrappy around the goal and not – you know, not giving um, UNT a, a really clean shot at it. They did a good job as that was a really good play by UNT. A nice pass up to John. And here comes Clark Meyer to put it into play. Clark, he's going to run straight to go. We have a whistle. Hmm. Not seeing a foul, so we'll have to see what the umpires decide. Maybe take a look, take a look at a replay here. Might be something behind the play. Perhaps a mix execution of some yeah, sort. Yeah, must have been a miss execution. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It looks like um, I think that's Niklas that was within five yards, perhaps on that. Ah. Uh, all 
right, so ball's in place again. Here comes Clark. Clark Meyer making the same play. This time he's got John Decker all over him. Decker stays on there. Here comes Clark to take it nice and calm down to the wall. Clark Meyer, now he's going to try to run it through the corner. Clark leaves that ball behind. It's kicked forward, though. It's going to be... Fellhaber to save it at the last second. Fellhaber flips it across the goal line, leaves it behind now for Vance Miller. Miller's going to override. Landon Daniels backs it towards goal, but Vance is the first one to get to it. Miller gets it turned back around for UNT. Now he's going to take off. Vance trying to work his way around past Clark Meyer. Ball pops up in the air. Oh, I think he got the rafters. Yeah, I think he got the rafters there. SMU's got to get those goals in when they have it right in front of their goal. They, they've Those opportunities are not going to come – you know, all the every every time, so they're going to have to take advantage of those and make sure they convert those. So you see Russell Stimmel out there. Looks like putting a spur back on. Yep. Russell has a great way of coaching uh, both teams. It was very calming, very sort of, you know, just tries to keep keep everyone composed you know not a screamer um but he's he's just it's it's fun seeing him back in this um you know in the ii program and and helping these kids out he's a obviously a great role model for them and and really enjoying um being coaching again all right we're back here comes clark from center field meyer Takes it down to the corner here. Keeps it away from Vance now. Leaves it behind. He's got Shane Metternich to follow him up. Landon Daniels trying to follow Shane as well. Metternich going to goal. My Vance gets in there, gets the hook, but Daniels picks it back up. Landon follows it on through goal, backing up Shane Metternich. There you go. Fifth goal on the board for SMU. And that's what they need to do. That was a good set play. Took it to the right-hand corner, which is our friend. We like the right-hand corner. Here comes Daniels. Landon, met by Fellhaber. Fellhaber's going to steal it back for UNT. Clark Myers trying to get the hook, but Fellhaber's keeping it nicely there. Fellhaber, very strong on the near side, taking it down the wall. Here comes Landon to clear him out, take it back. Landon Daniels clears it away, takes off now. Daniels keeping it on the near side, trying to keep it away from Vance Miller. Leaves it behind. He's followed up by Clark Meyer. Meyer passes it forward back to Landon Daniels in the corner here. Ball's kicked out by Miller's horse, left behind. Backed away there by John Denker. First one to turn around to it will be Shane Metternick for SMU. Denker comes in from behind there, and he's going to pick up a whistle there. Got a little overzealous there. Yep, and it also uh, looks like it went into the rafters as well, but I think we've got a foul on the play. Let's watch the replay here. Yeah, Better Nick had already started winding up for the back yep. shot. He squeezed on in from behind. So looks like we will have a penalty from the 25-yard line. I can't tell if it's a three or a four yet. So SMU doing a better job of finding the ball and riding their horse to it. I think sometimes they were overriding it a little bit, not being able to get the shot they wanted. Penalty four. Landon Daniels once again. Daniels looks like he's moving some poop out of the way there. <laughs> Not a bad idea. And just now he's going to take another one of his trademark trips to China before coming back to the ball. But utilizing that second approach is, you know, it's, oh, it's a no. bit of oh, Shane. Look. He's passing the torch there. Yeah. Here comes Shane Metternick. Shane. Just wide to the right. Vance Miller's there. Miller waits for that bouncing ball to settle here. Now winds up, delivers the pass. Shane's going to pick it back up here for SMU. Metternick not able to get to it. Uh-oh, it's going to be taken back by Vance Miller. Miller. Waits for Denker to get out of his way, winds up, shoots to goal. Miller's shot is wide to the right side. Denker staying off once again. John fighting for his life here. We got Clark Meyer to get a turn back around for SMU. Meyer taking it across the goal now. Clark tapping, tapping, tapping. 
Clark flips it forward, switches back to the near side, leaves it behind now. Ball's on the boards. It's going to be Shane Metternich to follow him back up. Metternich. Rebound pops back out to his mallet. He's waiting for Vance to clear. Metternich now still controlling the play. He's going to have Clark Meyer coming in from behind to help him out. Here comes John Denker all over him. Metternich switches to the near side, trying to get it away from Denker. He's hooked on the play now by Nicholas Fellhaber. Fellhaber gets that ball back away from Shane Metternich, flips it back to the boards, trying to get it turned back around and pick up his own right away off the wall there. Gets to it. Nicely done. Fellhaber now taking it to the wall. He's going to use the boards to keep it away from Landon Daniels here. Fellhaber. Leaves that ball behind, backed up by Vance Miller. Miller takes off towards goal. Miller shoots and scores goal number eight for UNT. Beautiful goal on the near side and great defense down at that other end. That's going to end this chucker. There back, you have it. Back to a three-goal lead. First half of the game in the books. UNT coming out strong in the first half, but SMU still very much in this game. Only a three-goal deficit. We've got halftime, and we will return in a few minutes. You're watching the USPA Polo Network. Uh, hi, I'm John Danker. Um, I'm a senior at University of North Texas, and I'm a history major. Hi, I'm Vance Miller III. I'm also a senior at the University of North Texas, and I'm a political science major. I plan on continuing to play polo and play the U.S. Open, the U.S. Arena Open uh, in the coming years, and as long as I can, and then playing professionally if, if possible and doing real estate doing real estate with my father and any firm that will take me. Um, I'm going back to New York to help my brother with our farm and um, I'm taking the Opal application for the FDNY in July, like, like July 15th or July 8th. Well, I think being composed was the biggest thing because they brought so much energy to the table, to the game, every goal, every foul, brought energy, energy, energy and we kept calm even with with a deficit, we kept calm and composed, and uh, I trusted John, he trusted me, and we trusted Niklas, and we trusted each other, and we just stayed calm and played together. I think a lot of the times when you play a team that's that intense, uh, teams tend to fall apart and fall into the other team's play instead of playing their own type of game, and I think maybe our experience on this like uh, stage has helped us keep our cool in those kind of situations. I mean, that year, winning last year was so special because it was our first championship in a, in a really fresh and young program, UNT, and we have so much pride in our school, and it, you know, whether it shows or not, we love UNT, and we bleed green, and just the significance of getting a first title, that itself was such a, a moment for, for me, and then just a great experience for me and, and the school, you know, at the school, UNT, we love it, and, and we're so thankful for them for, you know, letting us do this and, and making it easy for us to do this. They make it so easy. It's, they, they support us so much, and, and they're thankful for us, and we're thankful for them. And honestly, for me, the biggest memory of winning last year was just doing it for the college, and it just made me so proud to be a member of University of North Texas. I've been doing a lot this year. Um, I obviously was a little bit heavier last time we were here. Um, I've been conditioning since the fall, uh, giving up a lot just to be in good shape. Uh, even at that intense game, I will say, I, it paid off because I felt great after that lap. I was cramping up, but besides that, I wasn't tired. felt good. Yeah. I would say the same thing. I mean, John, his work off the field, is just, it just showed me how determined he is to win this championship. I'm so, so thankful to have a teammate like him. And then... For me, yes, off the field, but mainly practicing six chuckers or even having like 10 chucker practices and just being on a horse and, and when I'm tired, just r recognizing that I am tired and pushing through it in practice because you have to practice how you play. If you don't practice how you play, when you get in there and you get tired, you're not going to know how, how to react and how to, um, just how to cope with being tired. And I think the three of us do a great job of when we are tired, not showing that we're tired and, and just pushing through and, and still exerting enough energy to win the game. They're a very, they're a very different team than A&M. Um, we are very familiar with them. We've played them a lot this year, like we have all the Texas teams. Um, they are very disciplined. They're a very disciplined team, and I think that will be very fun. Uh, I do, we talked earlier about composure and they've 
definitely held that quite a bit, even with the nail biter in the past. So I think it will be very interesting and a lot of fun. Yeah, I think he hit the nail on the head. Um, this team is a lot more composed than in the past and a lot more composed than A&M. So they do bring that energy that, that you have to have to win a game like this. But they are composed. And when they are down, they'll still be fighting the whole time. And, and they'll, they're going to fight the whole way. And I, I know them well. And, and it's going to be a dog fight, just like our, our semifinal. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, it's, like a, it's, it's, a close, it's kind of a three-way tie. Um, it's my first two coaches, uh, my dad, Bill Danker, and Danny Scott from Barnetown, and then Coach Miller, because he's done a lot for me since I've been down here in Texas. Yeah. For me, I would say my father, Coach Miller, the biggest inspiration in my life, and then Pelotas Capite is a big mentor in my life, in my brother's life, and I'd love to aspire to be like him on the polo field and off the field. And obviously, you know, I love my brother, and I'd love to perform like he does. The U.S. Open has three horses supporting the chalice. The chalice was to celebrate, and the horses were the past, present, and future. I've been with the Open Trophy since 1987 in California. That, that was my first Open that I was there for. I brought it to the field every time since. My name is George DuPont. We're here at the National Museum of Polo and Hall of Fame. I'm the Chief Operating Officer, and I've been here about 35 years. Like any museum, we spend part of every day preserving yesterday for tomorrow. And look at Adolfo go. Cambiasso running against Ferrario, and, and the shot the... is good. Two goal lead, yeah. and that's the title. Yeah, he could win this game here. He's down towards the goal. It's a lofty shot. Everybody in the sport, if you're a baseball player, you would hope to get to the World Series. If you're a football player, you'd hope to get to be competing at least for the Super Bowl. Here, this is our Super Bowl. This is our Stanley Cup. This is our trophy for the Indianapolis Speedway. It's the United States Open. doesn't get any better than this, the most prestigious trophy in all of North American polo on the line today. The Open has been playing here in the United States for the last hundred years or more than that. Being with it since 1987, everyone is memorable to me. Just because, again, I think of the amount of horses it takes, the transportation, organizing a team, putting it together, and then putting it on. So to me, they're all memorable. I got lucky and got to play in it a few times. It was like one of them things when I started out grooming out of high school and trying to learn how to play polo. I thought, God, I wonder if I ever play in the Open. I mean, it's, it's what, you want, what you want to do. It's, it's where you want to get. The US Open here I think is the most special for, for, ser, for ser el último, and I think it's the most important. My dream to win the US Open or World Cup, one of those, was my dream from the beginning when I started playing polo in this country. The year that Gillian won the Open, 2002, I believe. I always remember uh, hundreds of hundreds of red jerseys, everybody jumping, celebrating. I've seen you playing here since March. Who is yeah. the toughest game? All this one teams. was, the last one. The last this one's one. always the toughest one. Because that's, oh, I mean, this is the one to win it all. Players are lining up for the opening throwing to start the final of the United States Polo Association's Open Championship, celebrating its 100th year. Memo Garcia, who was on, uh, on the uh, Ida Carroll team, he hit one shot, it landed about the 60, and I think it was Pancho Bencedone scored the winning goal. I'll never forget that play. And he scored again. Pancho Bencedone, there is the horn, there is the bell, it's all over. I always remember uh, 2007, I was really young, I was like 15, 16, 16 year old, something like that, and it was the final of the US Open, 
and I remember uh, that Adolfo scored in overtime. Everyone starts screaming and all the people so happy and always I remember that moment. It was an amazing game. What a final right here. Congratulations. Score Adolfo and Peroto, the father-son combo. Get it done. Mi mejor recuerdo fue obviamente creo que la final del US Open fue el más el más emotivo, el que más buscaba por ahí, haberlo ganado con con papá, habiéndolo acompañado toda la vida en finales y, y verlo de, de abajo fue fue muy especial. Espero poder repetir una sensación así. So this past year was a, a difficult year for us because it rained and the trophies were wet. We actually brought them home, my wife and I, who works here. Uh, she was using a hairdryer to dry the interior of the box. If you see the people that take care of the Stanley Cup, I'm taking care of the Stanley Cup in full. I don't know how, how much love I have for cleaning the trophy, but I have the pride and know the honor it is to be part of it. I'm excited for the process, where it's going, and that it's going to the Open, and somebody was going to win. I'm Clark Meyer and I play for the SMU team. We did a lot right in yesterday's game. I think that um, Landon and I, we really clicked. I've known Landon since I was 12 and we played high school, middle school, kids pull all, all throughout that. And I, I think that we had a lot of good things, a lot of goal scoring was done and we, we just did well all around. We have a really good dynamic to start with last year especially. And I think this year we've only gotten better. We've played against better teams this year and it's really driven us to be a better team in general. Russell's a great coach. He's uh, taught us definitely to keep our head down and not focus on the, uh, the bads, but focus on the goods. And um, that's something that really keeps us mentally sane during the games. After playing intercollegiate and interscholastic polo, I think the friendships that you make are some of the best you'll ever have. And you'll always be able to look back on these, these years and be happy and, and glad that you were able to be a part of something that was bigger than yourself. Well, we're, we're always happy to keep moving on and we, we plan to do so. But especially as a senior, it's, it's something a little bit more special. And um, we hope to go all the way, for sure.
Welcome back to the USPA Polo Network. In case you're just joining us, you're just about to come back from halftime here at the 2024 D1 Men's National Intercollegiate Championship Final. University of North Texas taking on SMU. Got some halftime statistics here on the board. As you can see, SMU making 7 out of 11 shots on goal. Or sorry, UNT. SMU making 4 out of 7. So UNT with a little bit more accuracy, 64% versus 57%. We've had zero two-pointers for either team. Pretty rare. And in terms of penalty shots, UNT converting 1 out of 5. SMU 1 out of 3. So as you can see, both teams could stand to make a lot more of their penalties. Fouls committed relatively even. UNT committing slightly more fouls than SMU. And looks like we're about to get ready to line up and put that ball back into play to kick off the second half here. Yeah, so we're back on these Prestonwood ponies, and it looks like uh, Elvis, that paint pony, has come in to take uh, the place of, I guess, a horse that was pulled. So um, John's very familiar with with Elvis, and uh, he's sort of a stalwart pony in, in, in the II ranks. He's he's at kind of every single tournament, so good for him. A um, little shout-out to Clark Meyer. He is part of the team the usa team that's going to represent the uspa against the schools and university polo association of the uk in a match next saturday at 3 p.m at palm city polo club joey casey's polo club it's an international exchange we do every year and the team clark meyer will be on that team with benito jaramillo from cornell taylor knackers from kentucky and will course from stanford All right, now we're back. It's going to be John Denker for UNT coming out of this throw-in. Ball's left behind there by Denker. It's going to be cleared away by Landon Daniels. Stolen back by Fellhaber. Fellhaber with a back shot to goal that's knocked back down and picked up by Daniels again. Daniels flips it off to Clark Meyer. Meyer couldn't get a hold of it, but Shane Metternick can. Metternick on the run for SMU. Pounds that ball off down to the boards. Rebound picked up by Vance Miller. Big, huge, open back shot by Vance Miller. Looks like he's going to try to get back to it himself. It's going to be Daniels to flip it away. Somebody's got to be in the wrong there. We've got a whistle. An amazing back shot out of traffic by Vance. And we'll see what the call is here. Well, Looks to me like Daniels was coming down that right of way pretty well there. Yeah, they're discussing it. But we don't have the best angle from that view. No. Or, or a green pushing red into the right of way. <clears throat> so they go to the third man. Let's see what they decide. Yep, so it looks like that's going to be a spot hit for SMU. Yeah, that would make sense to me. Here comes Clark Meyer to put it back into play. He's going to go ahead and take it straight to the boards here. Miller. Gets there, gets a little back shots, picked back up by Fellhaber. Fellhaber trying to get it turned back around there, dangerously close to his goal. Ball's left behind, whistle on the play. I think they're going to catch Nicholas on a little bit of a drive-by ride off here. He was making good play to try and clear it across, but I don't think it's going to be a two. Yep. Looks like Landon's going to tee it up. There we go. You can see on the replay. Yep. Turns across in front. So Daniels teeing up penalty two up from the 15 yard line. So my thought always is if you can play a team on their own horses evenly, you know, you're, you, that's, that's great. If you can, you know, beat them that chucker, that's even better. So this will be an important penalty shot just to get them within two. Feel like I'm there. I want to be quiet and not mess him up. Yeah, I, I always default to being quiet, even though I know that he can't hear me. There you go. Daniels gets it done. 
So now. Perfect. SMU within two goals of UNT as we head back to the throw line. Ball's in play. It's backed away. I believe that was Danker to put it off to the boards. He's looking for Miller out in front. Miller switches to the near side, shoots to goal just wide to the right. He'll get the rebound. It's going to be Clark Meyer to stab it out back the other way. Meyer now on the near side using that wall to protect the ball from John Denker here. Ball flips back out, and Landon going to get there. Landon. Shane Metternich. Now stolen back by Fellhaber. Metternich comes in, hits him with a hard bump, but he keeps that ball on the wall for UNT and gets it done. Nicholas Fellhaber. Way to push through that play. A bit of a mess over there on the boards. No one really had possession, and uh, UNT able to push that ball down towards their goal. Ball's back in play. Here comes Landon Daniels. Flipped away now by, look at that, Nicholas Fellhaber. He's going to take off running for the team in green. Nicholas Fellhaber out in front, breakaway run to goal, flips it towards goal. It's just wide to the left. He's going to get back to it, and now it's Clark Meyer to steal it away. Meyer gets it turned around. No whistle on the play. He's hooked there by Miller, though. Vance Miller now trying to get it turned around. He's got Shane Metternich there. He's going to catch a whistle. Yeah, just can't turn it back in front of traffic there. Great defense. I mean, Every time I think UNT's got an easy shot at goal, you know, SMU just makes it difficult for them and, and gets it out of trouble. They've got to make these shots. They're, they're getting balls kind of caught underneath their horses. But this should be a spot hit for them. Yep. There we go. Balls in place. Clark Meyer. Meyer, he's going to go ahead and take it straight to the wall there. And <laughs> it's going to stop dead there. But luckily, he's got Shane Metternich to pick it up and help him out there. Shane Metternich takes it down the boards, now switching to the near side, trying to keep it away from John Denker here, taking it straight to goal just wide. Denker's there, and look at that. Clark drops in behind, feeds it into the goal. Some classic arena polo there from SMU using the boards to their advantage. Good job sticking with it, Shane. Shane has such a long reach. He just kept that ball out in front of his defender almost all the way down to the end wall. We're back. There goes Phil Haber with a shot down the boards. He's looking for John. John picks that ball up, but Clark comes in behind, and we have a whistle. I think John might have slid in front here. It looks like John's already going to the other end to defend. So he knew he, knew he did it. All right, take a look at the replay here. Yep. And they've hit it now straight down to the end wall. Yep, here comes Clark Meyer to follow up that shot. Meyer hooked by Denker. Ball's kicked back. Here's oh. Landon Daniels trying to turn around over top of it. He lost sight of it there for a second. And now it's going to be Vance to flip it out, pass it to, Yo to sorry, Nicholas Fellhaber. Nicholas is cleared out there by Shane Metternich. Metternich gets a turn back around. He's going to the boards now for SMU. Ball's left behind, backed away lightly by Vance Miller. And now here comes Shane Metternich again. Metternich, hard back shot into the corner. Landon Daniels is there to receive. Daniels gets a turn back around, flips it off to the wall. He's going to try to switch to the near side. Vance Miller is there to reach in front and pull it away. Miller now gets a turn back around for UNT. Vance trying to work his way through traffic. Very sticky fourth jumper here. Drops it back to Nicholas Fellhaber. Fellhaber doesn't get a hold of it very much. It's going to roll to Vance. He waits for it, picks it up. Nicely done. Vance now cleared out by Clark Meyer. Meyer gets the tail shot. There we go. Passes it off towards Landon Daniels and Shane Metternich. Metternich in the corner here. John Denker gets there first. Gets the back shot just in the nick of time. Picked up again by Metternich. He flips it back towards oh, the corner for Clark Meyer. Play. Nice passing play there from Metternich oh. to Meyer. Oh, my goodness. Vance Miller saved that at the last second. Incredible. He's on the run now for UNT. Taking it down to the boards. Clark Meyer in hot pursuit. Vance still with possession. Using the near side to keep it away from Clark. Shoots to goal. And I think that was just wide. Yep. Lucky break there for SMU. Clark pulls it out. Vance pulls it back out, steals it away. Now, oh, no whistle there. Okay, it's going to be Shane Metternich to take it back for the team in red. John pulls it away. John Denker in front for UNT. Puts it into the goal. There you go. Tenth goal on the board for the team in green. John Denker has, for a long time, been sort of the unsung hero of this team. He just, He's just steady. You know, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He doesn't make a lot of fouls. He keeps calm. And um, you can see there, big scrum with everybody going for that ball. And John comes up with it. 
is able to get the goal. Back to the three goal lead. All right, I think we got a quick tap time here. 24 seconds left in the clock in shelter number four. A lot of chatting here between teammates. All right. And we're back. Ball's both back in. Nicholas Fellhaber gets it out, passes it to Vance Miller. Miller makes it past everybody. He's in the red zone. Miller shoots and scores. Goal number 11 for UNT. Just a little bit quicker there. Out of that throw in. And ball's going to roll through. Clark Meyer. Swats a back shot back towards Shane Metternich. Metternich cleared out by John Denker. Nicely done. That's going to do it. Final horn of chucker number four. 11 to 7 in the score. We've got two more five minute chuckers coming right up. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. You're watching the USBA Network. We got into Wellington, Florida market because of the number of horses were there. So we decided that we should also sell the hay there. And uh, we met some of the polo people there. And um, we've become very friendly with the polo community because the, uh, they require such a, a great quality hay, and which is what we want to provide. Welcome back to the USPA Polo Network. We're at the Division I Men's National Intercollegiate Championship final match. University of North Texas versus SMU. We're about to kick off Chucker number five of six. Both teams getting back in the arena, getting warmed up, getting ready to go. Yeah, UNT maintaining this. And um, 
Every time SMU seems like they're fighting back, then UNT answers. So they, now they've gotten a, built up to a four goal lead, not insurmountable in the least, but SMU needs to get something on the board quickly. Yeah, they need to win their third ones, which they just did not do. Here comes John Denker. Ball pops back out. Landon Daniels will get back to it and steal it back now. Daniels swats it off towards goal. It's going to go off into that left corner, and looks like we'll have John Denker to clear out Shane Metternick. Pound that ball back down the boards. He's looking for Bellhaber. Bellhaber now looking to get it back to Denker, but it's going to be intercepted by Clark Meyer. Meyer gets it turned back around. He's going to goal. He's looking for the whistle. He found it. Let's see who they're going to call this on. Back on Sergio Coro horses. Again, slightly more familiar to the SMU crew. All right, we got a replay here. Clark pulling it out from the boards, taking it back towards the center. Yeah, they might have been calling John on that initial eating play. Oops, it's a little tack, a little switching horses. Yeah, yeah. So again, we can always switch horses between players. And sometimes you might like a horse one day and it just doesn't feel the same the next day and you decide to, to change it. These two dark brown horses of Sergio's, both really nice horses, Batman and Turco, um, that the guys said they really enjoyed playing. And I am trying to figure out which one is which. I think... Um, I think that Shane is on um, Turco, but I could have that wrong, but two really nice horses, good and handy. All right, balls in place. Landon on a fresh horse, at least to him, headed to this penalty three. going to pass it and circle back around again. I was about to say, ah, you don't have your swings quite. He was a little late getting ready for that one, so that was a wise move. The practice swing works great, but you can't be in the middle of your practice swing when you need to bring your mallet back. All right, here it comes again. Points at the goal. Winds up, shoots, and oh. puts oh. it wide. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be Vance Miller to take it back for UNT. Miller passes it forward, looking for John Denker. Denker takes off the goal here, trying to work his way past Shane Metternick. Denker taking it down to the left corner, pushing to the near side, keeping the ball on the wall to keep it away from Metternick here. Denker, now, it's his pocket pick. Clark Meyer pulls it back out for SMU and takes off. Meyer taking it to goal here, overrides, backed up by Metternick. Metternick shoots to goal. It's off into the left corner. Here comes... Meyer, he's not able to reach for it. It's going to be left behind. Everyone turning back around, and we have a whistle stopping the clock. I think he might have been able to reach for it, but unfortunately, I think it was a reaching call. It was underneath the other the other horse. It looks more neutral there, but at first glance, I'm sure it looked like his mallet came in front of the other horse's legs. So, yeah, there you go. Spot hit for UNC. Ooh. Looks like that was Miller to shoot one time for two points. It's just wide. It's going to be Shane Metternich to turn it back around. Looks like that was Denker to come behind and push the right of way, and we have a whistle. Yeah, Shane had his man with him, and he had beat, beaten the first man and thought he had time to go. That's such a classic arena polo foul. And John, obviously, with all that experience, was quick to follow up that, follow up his teammate. That one's gonna, right. This one's going to hurt. Yep, it's a penalty two to go in favor of UNT. Here comes Fellhaber. Nicholas Fellhaber gets it done. Uh-oh, UNC pulling ahead even more. 12 goals to seven now on the scoreboard in this fifth chucker of the game. Three minutes and 30 seconds left. Both teams line back up. Ball's pulled back in. Here comes John Decker to win this throw and go to goal. Decker shoots for two. It's wide to the left. Here comes Vance Miller to pick it back up and try to get it turned back around towards goal. He's going to catch a whistle there. Yep. Not just not enough room to turn there. So SMU's got to make things very simple 
and just start shooting for gold. But these five minute chuckers go really quickly. And um, it's not like, oh, I have, you know, I have two chuckers left. They just don't have enough time. All right, so we got a spot hit to go in favor of SMU. It's Clark Meyer. Meyer holding on to it, works his way around to the inside of John Denker. He might just use the wall to his advantage here. Denker still in front on top of him. Clark shoots to goal now. Meyer, his shot's going to go off to the left side, tries to get back to it. It's backed away by Fellhaber, again by Denker. Tail shot from Denker, knocked down, picked up by Daniels. Daniels trying to get it to goal. We have a whistle stopping. So let's see what we have here. Oh, we see we see Nicholas holding his hand up. That's always a bad sign. <laughs> kind of the ball kind of got bounced around there. Uh, yeah. I don't know. If red pulled in front of that. That ball was hard to follow. It was confusing mm -hmm. as to where the right of way was coming from. It looks like a spot hit for UNT. There you go. Miller fires that ball off as hard as he can off into that right corner. It's going to be better to get there first. Flip it back through the corner, but it's knocked down by. Fellhaber picked up by John Denker. Denker in the red zone on the wall. There you go. John Denker, goal number 13 for UNT. John wins those... John's going to win most of those ride-offs. He's just, he's so physically strong. He can get his horse to do what he wants to. And he just Here. turned that play his way, took advantage of it. Here's Shane Metternich for SMU to take that ball out of the throw and bring it down to the boards on the near side. He's going to be hooked by Miller, circle back around, whistle on the play. Chuck number five, getting a little choppy here. Yep, I feel confident of calling that sandwich. So Landon's got to make this. And he knows it. I'm sure he knows it. Landon, um, of course, we've heard his name a lot with all the Knights championships. Landon and Clark. Very experienced polo players. I see a fa I, I spy a Falabella brand on this nice chestnut horse. All these teams have been, the horses they're assigned, they've been taking care of them um, throughout the week as well, helping the horse providers with feeding and mucking. So everyone's been out here pretty much every day, riding sets, feeding, keeping themselves busy. Smart move there to circle back around in this one. Yep. You also wonder having, you know, one more game under their belt. I mean, yes, it's great because they've got more games they've played, but, you know, does does some fatigue set in? Who knows? Daniels. There we go. There he goes. Eighth goal on the board for SMU. Trailing by five. Still totally in this game. They've got almost half of chucker number five and then an entire other chucker coming up. Balls in play. Here comes Clark to win the throw and go to goal. Shoots for two. Wide to the right. Got to pick up this rebound and put it on in. Clark Meyer. Clark Meyer. Oh, no. Kicked away. Picked up now by Vance Miller. Meyer gets back to it. Hits the back shot back towards the corner. He's looking for Daniels here. It's going to be Phil Hopper to get it away. Daniels to get it back. Daniels. Sword fight here. Pulls it out. Here comes Meyer to follow it up. Meyer leaves it behind. Shane Metternich's there. Clark, you got to move. We've got another sword fight here. It's going to be Phil Hopper to steal it away. Nicholas Phil Hopper now takes it out, takes off running for the team in green. Phil Hopper on the boards, leaves it behind, backed away there by Shane Metternich, and it's going to go off into the corner. Here comes Daniels to pick it up for the team in red. Landon gets it turned back around. He's got Vance on him. Vance gets that ball away from him, hits it across the goal mouth there, clears it away for UNT. Bounces back out, and here comes Denker. He's hooked on the play. Daniels gets it back here. 
Clark Meyer now. They turn it back around for SMU. Try to make his way past Miller. Miller swats back and picks it up. Vance Miller now on the run to goal for UNT. He's got Shane Metternich all over him, but he's going to get to that wall, turn it around, walk it into goal. Vance Miller keeping UNT with a nice, healthy lead here at jumper number five. Yeah, great run by UNT. SMU's just seems like snake bit down by their goal. They're getting it down there, and, you know, UNT, to their credit, doing a great job, uh, you know, defending down at that goal and not, not just letting them tap it in. So that's going to be out of play. It rolled up that, you see that angled part of the wall, and uh, that is considered out of play because on the other side of the arena, the wall only goes up so high. So they're trying so, to equalize both sides. Possession turnover to UNT. Balls in place. Here comes Vance Miller. Miller hits away. Doesn't get enough on it. Landon turns around and steals it back. Landon controlling that ball and taking it to goal now for SMU. Daniels is wide to the right. Here comes Vance to steal it away. Miller hits it off down the boards and takes off with it. Vance Miller. Going down into the corner now. Leaves that ball behind. Here comes Clark Meyer. Here comes Shane Metternich to turn it back around for SMU. 15 seconds left on the clock. Metternich clears it out of danger nicely. He's looking for Daniels out in front. Vance will get there and get the back shot back the other direction. First one to turn to it is Meyer. Clark Meyer with a centering back shot of his own back towards the goal. And he's out of time. And that was perfectly placed there for Daniels. But unfortunately, that would do it for Trucker number five. We have one. More trucker coming up. Only one team will take home the 2024 Men's National Championship. We'll be right back. You're watching the USPA Polo Network. philosophy of Centennial Partnerships is to mitigate risk through diversification and that includes a group of horses and a group of people but we don't want to take away the experience and the fun of the sport so we limit the number of people in each partnership we try to make the experience for people as exciting and as memorable as possible at Palm Beach Equine Clinic, we know your horse is not only a superior athlete, but a part of your family. With more than 30 veterinarians, four board certified surgeons, and the most technologically advanced equine imaging suite in the country, our team has all the skill set required for accurate diagnosis and successful treatment. Palm Beach Equine Clinic is committed to providing exceptional service and care for both patients and owners. Visit equineclinic.com today to make us a part of your team.
better come back. They're going to throw it in. All right. Welcome back to the USPA Polo Network. We're back in play. This is it, the sixth and final chucker of your men's national intercollegiate championship final. We have Clark Meyer to pull it out here. Meyer takes off. He's hooked on the play. Here comes Shane Metternick to hit it over the boards and out of the arena. There you go. Possessional change to SF to UNT. As you can see, UNT with a 14 to 8 goal lead here. So six goal deficit for SMU to overcome here. They have just under five minutes to get it done. Two pointers do exist, so it is possible. But they did not need to send that. That possession, change in possession is not what they need. It does stop the clock, but they do not want to give this ball back to UNT. Absolutely. Every single play is going to be very important for them now. Here comes Clark Meyer. He's got John Denker to steal it away. Denker, Denker, Denker. Oh, that didn't go in. Still on the field. Here comes Shane to clear it out. Shane, try to pass it forward to Landon. Landon gets there and picks it up for SMU. Landon Daniels battling his way past Miller. He's going to goal here. Daniels out in front. He's looking good. Landon Daniels, Landon Daniels. Oh, just wide. And it will be Clark Meyer to flip it back to Metternich on the boards. Metternich leaves it behind. They've really got to score here. Here comes... Metternich once again to steal it back from Fellhopper. Get it turned back around for SMU. Leaves it behind. Surprised we got no sandwich there. Here comes Denker now. John Denker. And there we have a whistle. Yeah, let's see which one they want to pick out here. But SMU, just like as I said, they're just they're getting it right in front of goal. And those finishing shots, especially under pressure, when you know you've got to make them, they're so hard to... You know, you're, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I've got to make this goal. And that's the last thing you should be thinking about because that's going to make you, you know, miss it. So they're getting it down there. But I think uh, Landon just got stuck and just too long. Change of possession here right into the rafters. It looks like Nicholas asking for maybe some time to fix something. <clears throat> All right. Ball's getting teed back up here. Those semifinal games were both so close and um, really exciting. Down to the wire, two goal differences. So we do indeed have some sort of tech or equipment time out here. Yeah, just making sure these ponies get the, their boots, keep their boots on, keep everyone safe. Again, this is a string from Liberty Hall, Dan Coleman. So getting everything back underway. Of course, these ponies doing a lot of arena polo during the summer. And I'm not sure if Zach had them down in Texas Arena League or if he was playing Texas and AM horses, but definitely arena ponies. All right, here we go. We're back. Clark Meyer hits away first time. It's going to be off to the left side, and Fellhopper's there to knock it down. Nicholas Fellhopper gets that ball turned back around, takes off for UNT. Leaves it behind on the boards. Clark swats it forward. Ball pops out. Vance Miller's there to pounce. Miller passes it back forward. It's going to be Clark once again playing the back door for SMU. Open back shot back towards the center of the field. Landon Daniels turns for it. Daniels now on the boards. Backed up by Clark. Clark Meyer. We've got a whistle on the play. <clears throat> a little communication breakdown there. I think it was whether it was going to go up for a pass, but I think that... It Landon or Clark foul the second man. All right, we'll take a look at the replay here. There goes Clark. Just, yeah, I think he switched sides. Came in front of Nick Loss there. Spot hit goes in favor of UNT. It's going to be Miller to hit it away. It's knocked down by Clark. Here comes 
John Decker to pick it back up. Decker for the team in green in the corner here. He's got Landon Daniels there to steal it away, flip it out, and clear it away on the near side. Daniels now takes off running, keeps it on his near side, keeps it away from Decker. Now John gets there, gets the back shot. He's looking for Vance Miller. Miller couldn't get a turn back around there. It's going to be poached back by Clark for SMU. Clark Meyer keeping it on the boards. Nope. Pops away from the boards, and Miller capitalizes, gets the back shot pass off to Fellhopper. Fellhopper now takes off towards the wall, passes it forward for Denker. John Denker clears out the man. He's followed out by Vance Miller, but Landon Daniels will get there. Daniels flips it back to Meyer. Meyer gets it turned back around now for SMU. Waits for Denker to clear, lines up a clear shot. He was rushed there. Hit away too quickly. Ball's going to go off into the corner, and it'll be taken away by Fellhopper. Fellhopper with a big back shot over everybody's heads. He's looking for Miller out in front. Vance gets turned around first. Runs to goal here for UNT. Vance Miller taking it down to the corner, working his way from right to left towards goal. Vance Miller gets it done. Oh, my goodness. 15th goal on the board. UNT. Showing all that arena experience. That was a great goal by Vance. Good yeah, teamwork. Man. John doing his, you know, all three of those UNT players. Really communicating just well, yep. Taking down. Less than two minutes left. Seven goal deficit. Clark Meyer leaves that ball behind. Here comes Shane Metternich. Metternich's back shot goes the wrong way. Must have bounced off of something. Picked up now by Daniels. Land and Daniels. Gets it turned back around now for SMU. Works his way around past fans. Flips it off to Shane. Shane Metternich takes it to the boards. Gets cleared out there by Fellhaber. And Vance will take it, but pick up a whistle on the play. Yeah, Fellhaber was was holding the man, but not to the extent that that uh, Vance could go in there. I think so. So at this point of the game, you know, you, you, you just yes, some users are going to fight to the to the last minute. You know, whether or not they can make a, you know, they can win the game. You still want to make, you know, finish positive, play hard, enjoy your teammates, try and put another couple goals on the board. Balls in place. Here comes Meyer. Clark Meyer takes off. Keeps that ball. Almost leaves it behind. He's got Daniels there to back him up. He's going to leave it for him. Landon now surveys the arena. Lines up a pass to Clark. Gives it to him. Clark on the boards now for SMU. Trying to make his way past Fellhaber here. Nicholas all over him. Vance Miller comes in. Takes that ball across the goal. Out of danger now for the team in green. It's going to be Landon Daniels to steal it back. Daniels working his way back towards center field. But Fellhaber comes in. Gets it back now for UNT. Nicholas Fellhaber on the run. Landon gets the back shot back towards the boards. First one to turn for it is Vance Miller. Miller with a back shot of his own. And it'll be picked up by Fellhaber. Nicholas Fellhaber gets a turn back around. Picks up the pass from Vance. Winds up. Shoots one time. Looking for two. It's wide to the left. Gets back to the rebound. Puts it through. Nicholas Fellhaber doubling up SMU on the scoreboard. 16 goals to eight. Nicholas is so smooth. He's got that, that long reach. Tall upper body. I always think he he reminds me of Felipe Viana on a horse. He's just got this really tall upper body, and he can reach. You know, he's he's his wingspan is ridiculously long, so he knows where the goal is. And that was All a right. really really pretty goal. Just a nice finish. <clears throat> so, so we got a timeout. It appears. Yeah, Only think... thirty seconds left on the clock. Unt knows they've clinched the win here. It just isn't enough time. Yep. I'm not sure why Nick Loss is getting off. Ah, uh, here comes Mo. Ah, oh, yay! <laughs> awesome. Making sure all players get on the get in the arena. That's a nice call there. That's great. Mo Gray Sandy. I remember meeting him when he was about seven years old. Um, when nationals were up at Valley Forge, he was there with his mom. He was just starting in the work drive program and just getting to watch him grow up through the program. And he's just such a nice young man. So poised and, you know, so articulate. So I'm glad they're, they're putting him in. That's a, that's a good call. You know, alternates are just as important as the players on the field because they're ready to step in at a moment's notice. They're supportive. They're helping their team. And, it, you know, no one wants to be the alternate, but, boy, it's it's an important role. And, um, you know, you, you need to have those extra players. You know, you just do. You can only put three on the field at a time. So Absolutely. glad nice to see them in there. People graduating as well. It's nice to yep. have a freshman on, in the program. There we go. John Denker pulls it out of the throne, goes to goal. He's trying to put one last one up for UNT. It's just wide to the right, follows up his rebound, puts it through. 
John Decker making this win absolutely undeniable here. 17 to 8 now on the board for UNT. Pretty 15 dumb. seconds left. Yeah, pretty dominant performance, especially this second half. I think you, uh, SMU kept it really close the first half, and, and then UNT really found their found their mojo and really opened that up. Absolutely. So we're back. Here comes Clark Meyer to get it turned back around. Meyer keeps it alive down the boards. We've got Miller coming in to try to steal it away, but Meyer still has possession. Clark going to goal, trying to put one last one up. Clark flips it off. Again, not able to get it done right at the last second. There goes the final horn. There you have it. UNT are your 2024 Division I Men's National Intercollegiate Champions with an undeniable win there over SMU. Good, hard-fought game. SMU did a great job keeping it up, but UNT brings it home. Yep, back-to-back -back for UNT, this young program. So congratulations to them, and congratulations for SMU to make it into the into the finals and kind of a Cinderella story to get to the finals and just not enough today um, for this strong UNT team. So congratulations to all the teams at this national tournament and all the people working behind the scenes to make this all happen. Parents, coaches, supporters, really appreci appreciate all of you. Absolutely, it takes a village. Thank you everyone for tuning in as well. You're watching the USPA Polo Network.